Hi guys, I'm just recording this video really quickly. Um, if you need a walkthrough of what I'm asking you to do for the extra credit, if you totally understand it, I don't think you need to watch this video or you can just skip to the end where I go through the example. So what I want you to do first is take this, I guess, VAC test. It's essentially a learning styles test. The V stands for visual, the A stands for auditory, and the K stands for kinesthetic. And what you're gonna do is you're going to read each number and then rank one, two, or three your priority um, in terms of the statement here. So for example, if I were going to look at this, I would say, okay, the easiest way to learn is um, by viewing, reading, and observing how the others carry out certain tasks, by listening, discussing, and doing according to verbal instructions, by doing and experimenting by myself. So I guess I would say, um, for me, this is the most accurate description. So I'm going to give that a three, again, based on the uh, chart here, or that gets the key here, and then I might say, um, I'm going to go with a two by doing and experimenting by myself, but then a one. So for me, this characterized me the least. So you just want to go through and rank how you feel about each one of these. Um, there are 12 and then when you're ready you would click submit and then at the bottom it's going to tell you the type of learner that you are it might again give you so I only did the first answer but it's gonna tell you how many points you have for each one so for example if this was my spreadsheet here I'm mostly an auditory learner because I got the most number of points but I'm very much also a kinesthetic learner you only have to pick um, for the extra credit assignment one type of learner to do this this but it's good to know if you're more than one type of learner so pick the learner style you get the most points of if you tie in a category pick the one that you think really works better for you. Okay, so now that you've figured out what type of learner you are, you want to go into this document that I've linked um, in the announcement that you just read. It's called a Learning Styles in the Writing Process. So you guys, as you were going through your discussion board, you inspired me to kind of figure out and think about, well, everyone has a different writing process, clearly from our discussion last week, but which is the writing process that's best for you? And if you're struggling, is it possible that your writing process is for a different type of learner than you are? So what, what I want you to do now is once you identify the type of learner you are, I want you to create a document that says, you know, I am an auditory learner or I am a visual learner or I am a kinesthetic learner, and then go through each step of the writing process that you see here and on your document tell me um, what style fits best for the type of learner that you are at each stage of the writing process. So for example, in the gathering information stage of the writing process, if you are a kinesthetic learner, you might find that the best thing for you to do in your writing process at this stage is to collect information in a form you can manipulate, write down ideas and information, involve your body in the thought process, so getting up and moving at the organi organizing information stage if you're a kinesthetic learner. You would just tell me on the document. You should organize information in piles or columns. Make something. Um, use body position to reinforce organization. At the drafting stage, if you're a kinesthetic learner, you should use a computer. You should take frequent breaks. You should, you again, use body position. So um, then what I want you to do is specifically for your first paper, which we'll talk about really soon, um, but just in terms of writing a whole paper, I want you to think about based on each stage of the writing process, what could you do specifically? So the document you look at here is really general. You know, it could be for any writing, any experiment, any educational assignment, but what about specifically for the paper that you're gonna write in um, this class? So then what I've got here that I'll link to for you as well as an example of what this what your document could look like. I formulated mine as a chart but you don't have to make yours a chart. You can organize it in any way that best fits your learning style or your writing style or whatever. So here I told 
my teacher. Um, I am primarily a visual learner. This, these are the stages in the writing process. According to the paper that I looked at, this PDF from SALT here, the best practices for me at each stage are listed out. And then I had a specific idea for myself at each stage of the writing process. So for example, um, because I'm a visual learner at the gathering information stage, I could read, I could print, read, and color code the elements of an essay example provided by my teacher. At the gathering or at the organizing information stage, because I am a visual learner, instead of writing a basic outline, I could use five sheets of different color paper, one for each paragraph of my essay and write ideas that would go into that paragraph and I could maybe tape these to my wall above my desk while writing. So you just want to go through and create a document that tells me a couple of things. What type of learner are you? What are the overall general best practices for you at each stage of the writing process? And then pick one specific thing for each stage of the writing process that you could do in your your first essay for the class, this personal narrative. And it doesn't have to be as specific as talking about the personal narrative unless you, you can think about doing that. Okay, so um, this is the extra credit. I'm kind of just, this just came to me. I just made it up off the top of my head. I think it sounds like something that would benefit you. Um, but it's extra credit. You don't have to do it. It's going to be 10 points to your personal narrative essay if you want some extra points there. If you have questions, again, because I just came up with this, I don't. I have not perfected it yet. Um, so if you have questions, email me.